Haley George looks up to her younger brother, Danny. I have learned so much from Danny because he just truly like looks for the, the joy in life. Danny has Down syndrome. Her family assumed he'd qualify for the COVID-19 vaccine until a clinic told them Down syndrome isn't yet a vaccine qualification in our state. I just don't, I don't see how that is fair or right to, to not, to not protect these people. So we turned to an expert, Dr. Elizabeth Mead with Swedish Hospital. She said people with Down syndrome are at a higher risk. Cardiac disease, they can have lung problems, they can be more prone to respiratory illnesses, and they can have immune disorders. And all of those things certainly put people at higher risk for severe disease from COVID. And a study in the UK found that people with Down syndrome have a 10 times higher risk of dying from COVID. So George wrote a letter to public health leaders asking for change. It has been interesting because I have gotten no response. But King 5 did. The Washington State Department of Health said in a statement, at this time, people will be eligible in phase two if they have Down syndrome, but no other comorbidity. If they have Down syndrome and another comorbidity that's on either of the CDC's lists, they can get vaccinated in phase 1B tier three. That tier isn't expected until spring or summer, and there's no timeline at all for when we'll move to phase two. What do you have to say about the idea that the qualifications could be based on what those underlying health conditions might be, not just the overarching that all people with Down syndrome should qualify? Yeah, I mean, I think that's ridiculous. I mean, it's not a large group of people. It's not a large ask to have them be moved up. In Seattle, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.